anthology shows which use new characters, writers, directors each season or episode used to be the norm like The Twilight Zone. But in the age of Netflix, Hulu, iTunes, anthology shows are making a comeback. Where does this stuff come from? First on our list of faves, American Horror Story, which brought anthology back from the dead. We're just getting started. Each season of this FX creeper focuses on a new macabre theme. The Emmy-winning show is entering season five, this time focusing on a sketchy Los Angeles hotel and starring Lady Gaga and Kathy Bates. Next up, HBO's True Detective. This is a world where nothing is solved. This show proved you could pull in A-list actors with busy schedules who wouldn't commit to a multiple season show. A smart guy who's steady is hard to find. Last go round, it was Matthew McConaughey and Woody Harrelson, and now it's Colin Farrell, Vince Vaughn, and Rachel McAdams. Last on our list, Fargo. Quite a coincidence if they weren't, you know, connected. Can an iconic movie become a hit anthology series? Oh, you betcha, yeah. Yeah. FX's take on the black comedy crime drama was a huge hit, with season one scoring 98% on Rotten Tomatoes. If that was me, <laughs> I would have killed that man. Billy Bob Thornton set the mood in season one. Season two, premiering in the fall, stars Ted Danson. Look for a menu of these bite-sized binges in all the usual places, and that's the to-do list.